Good day, brethren. You are welcome to our CCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General of Asiel of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 9th June 2024, we'll be looking at the topic, The Breastplate of Righteousness. Our memory verse is taken from Proverbs 21, verse 21. It says, He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life righteousness and honor we have two bible texts today the first one is genesis 39 from verses 6 to 12 which says and he left all that he had in joseph's hand and he knew not he knew not what he had save the bread which he did eat and joseph was a goodly person and well favored and it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon joseph and she said lie with me but he refused and he said unto his master's wife behold my master wanted not what is with me in the house and he had committed all that he had on had to my hand there is none greater in this house than i neither had he kept back anything from me but thee because thou art his wife how then can i do this great wickedness and sin against god and it came to pass as she spake to joseph day by day that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her and it came to pass about this time that joseph went into the house to do his business and there was none of the men of the house there with. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled. And she got and he, and got him out. Our next um, text is Genesis 41 from verses 37 to 44. It says, And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has shewed thee all this, there is none discreet and as wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand, and put it upon Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had, and they cried before him, bowed the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. A Bible passage says, Yesterday, our Father and Lord started a discussion on the full armor of God. Today, we'll be discussing the breastplate of, the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate of righteousness is the piece of armor that protects your heart. To be righteous is to always do the right thing according to God's standard. When you are righteous, your heart is protected against the tricks of the devil. The moment you stop being righteous, you expose your heart to all manner of sin in the world. And this is how backsliding starts. The devil is after your heart. That's why Proverbs 4 verse 23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So, Today we are discussing the breastplate of righteousness and the breastplate serves to protect the heart, the important, you know, a very important organ in the body. But spiritually, it protects our heart too. If we stop being righteous, we are exposed to all the tricks of the devil and that may cause us to backslide because our heart is now has now become vulnerable, is no longer being shielded. So righteousness shields our heart. That's why Proverbs 423 says, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Your heart determines how you live your life. So you have to guide it with everything you have. And that's why you have a breastplate covering it. The devil wants to turn your heart away from God. So he suggests sin to you every now and then. However, if your breastplate of righteousness is intact, you will not fall. The devil presents something that seems not that does not seem really bad to you. I have always said it. If it's not really bad, it is already bad. Stay away from it. If you do that which does not really seem bad, you have opened up your heart to accommodate even more sin. Before you realize it, you will start doing things that you said you will never do again. This is how believers backslide. Is the devil already presenting something that does not seem really bad to you? You are already making up an excuse for yourself to do it. This is from that thing immediately. His plan is to get you to remove your breastplate of righteousness so that your heart can become open for his attacks. If a Christian's breastplate is off and the devil attacks his or her heart, it is instant death. 
removing every form of carnality from your life is the only way to keep your breastplate of righteousness on. So the devil will always want to turn your heart away from God, but you must not allow him. He does this by suggesting, you no know, different kinds of sin. And typically, he would do it by suggesting, you know, something that does not seem that really bad, you know. But if it is not seeming that really bad, then it's already bad, according to our Father and the Lord. So we should not give the devil chance in any way. We should not try to rationalize sin. We should not try to rationalize iniquity. We should stay away from iniquity, resist sin. Anything that may form constitute a weakness to us, let's do away with it completely. It may not seem bad, but if he's having the likelihood of being bad or not being the right thing, let us stay away from it. Because if you are not careful, we will lose our breastplate of righteousness and the devil can strike at our heart and that may be very, very dangerous for us. Your thoughts should dwell on spiritual things according to Philippians 4 verse 8. If your mind is drawn to carnal things rather than spiritual things, you are in a dangerous state. But when your mind is drawn to spiritual things, the temptations to be unrighteous will become less effective on you. This is why Romans 8, 6 says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Beloved, don't let the little things of this world open you up to spiritual death. If something seems bad, stay away because it will only lead to to spiritual death. So let's be careful of our thoughts because those are areas or those are methods that the devil uses to get to our hearts. Let's be very careful of our thoughts. Don't let us dwell on carnal things. Let us dwell on spiritual things so that we may be able to escape the temptations of the devil and it will have very little effect on us. Let's be careful. Don't let us lose our, breast, lose our breastplate of righteousness. Let us be careful of those things that seem like it's not so bad. They are already bad. Our key point says, guard your heart with all diligence. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your instructions and your warning to us today. We ask that you help us to guard our heart with all diligence. In the name of Jesus, help us to guard our thoughts. Help us to protect our hearts from every action and every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Help us to stand firm and strong in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.